Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called How to Get Good at Rocket League. Just to let you know, I have three birds in my room, so if you hear any background noise, just ignore it. Like, yeah, they're just a bit active in the day, so that's uh, the squeaky sound you might be able to hear in the background. But yeah, this is going to be a new series on my channel, and I'm basically going to take the beginners of Rocket League, because if we look, there's over 1 million players online. Before Wednesday and the new update when it went free to play there was you know average of 300,000 online so there's a lot of new players on this game and with a lot of new players there's going to be a lot of new people who need a guide on how to get good at the game because you know they've just got the, the game so in this video today I'm going to be taking you through some basics of Rocket League that you need to get down if you want to climb the ranks as fast as you can so first of all all you want to do is go into options camera now camera settings are a preference you can mess around with them you can try different ones out they are a preference however for the new players I would recommend starting with similar ones to these you could search up pro ones you can search up whoever's camera settings you want to use mine are quite similar to pros because I've searched up pros once and used similar to those but this is just personal preference of mine. You just want to mess around with your camera settings, but you want to make sure. The most important thing is this field of view is on 110 because I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like lower. So we're in free play right now. These are my camera settings, just how they are. You know, it's quite zoomed out. It's quite good. Let's turn the FOV down. We've turned it down just to 90 and look at that. You know, it's so zoomed in. It's kind of hard to see. You've got no awareness of what's going on in the game basically, so the most important camera setting I recommend is just banging your FOV up. Then the rest of these you can just mess around with and do what you like. Make sure you have camera shake off because you really don't want that. It's just, it shakes, you, you, it's literally what it says, it shakes your camera when you jump and land and all of that. Now dead zone, you don't want, really want to worry about too much, but you sort of want to have it, this is also preference. Most pros have it between 0 0.1 and 0 0.05. They're probably the best dead zones, but if you want to start off on a higher one, then you can. Dead zone is just how far you have to push your stick until the game reacts and moves that way. So say if you're turning left, if you have a lower dead zone, you'll have to move the stick less of a distance to turn left. If you have a higher dead zone, you'll have to move your left stick more to turn left. So it's just, it's just personal preference. So just play around with it and find what you're comfortable with. Now, next up is video. If you're on console, you won't see all of this. All you'll see is this on the right. What you want to do is you want to turn all of these off, apart from transparent goalposts. Because all of these, like bloom, depth of field, weather effects, motion blur, they just mess around with your graphics, and they're just additional graphics that you don't really need to be seeing, because you need to be focusing on the game and how you're playing it and the ball, basically. So don't worry about that. If you're on PC, I'd recommend this, you know, this is what my game looks like. It's quite smooth, it's quite nice. You don't want to have it all high quality because, you know, unless you've got a demon of a PC that can run it. I'd recommend close to these, but once again, you can just mess around with your video settings. So, now you've sorted out your camera settings, your dead zone, your video settings. The next part of Rocket League is playing the actual game. So. What I'd recommend to you new beginners is just to hop in free play because you know it's just you and the ball. You can literally do anything you want with the ball, with your car, and it's just good. You can practice mechanics, you can practice anything in here. The thing I'd recommend is just flying around. Just fly around, learn to control your car. By doing this, it will help you better your mechanics, it will help you better your car control, and all around, you know, you'll be able to control your car better, which will mean you'll play better and you'll get better at the game. There's another option that's quite important, controls and your bindings. Personally, I would recommend putting power slide to L1, air roll to L1, and air roll left to L1. You don't need to worry about L air roll right, because that's like a tornado spin, it does it automatically, whereas air roll left, you have to do it by yourself. So overall, free play is where you want to start your Rocket League career. If you want, you can just hop into games and, you know, play. If you're not too concerned about getting good at the game and climbing ranks, you can just hop in casual and just play for fun. But if you're looking to take it more serious and you're looking to climb the ranks and get good, this 
area right here is where I'd start your career in free play. Now, we've covered free play, we've covered your camera settings, we've covered your controls and your video settings. The next part you want to move on to is custom training, which can be found by clicking play, training, custom. You'll see here there's featured ones and there's loads on browse. Like I'm just scrolling down here and there's so many on browse. Now, it's up to you what you want to start with to get better at. I would recommend shots and defense. So, you know, if you scroll down, you'll find goalkeeper training and you'll find, look, there's one here, saves, double jump aerials, shooting consistency. Those are the ones I'd recommend first because you'll get better at shooting and saving. So you get better at offense and defense. And at the same time, if you're in free play, learning how to control your car, you'll be able to move on to the aerial shots quicker. And because you've already got knowledge on how to hit the ball on the ground, you can take that and use it to hit the ball in the air. With custom training, you can favorite. There's usually stuff here, but I'm not sure why it's not there right now. You can favorite training packs, and these are the ones I've got saved. And I've got some that I want to recommend to you guys, so pause the video on the ones I say to. So this one, Biddle's Progression. The code's here, you can pause the video, type it in. There's 40 shots. You can see aerials, redirects, wall shots, offense. It's just all round good for your offense game. Then you've got ground shots, the codes here. This also deals with bounces and shots and your offense. And then you've got this one which is called Why You Suck Shadow Defense. The codes here, and this actually works on saves and defense. It's quite hard if you're not experienced, but once you practice it, once you get better at the game, you'll find shadow defense more easy. And shadow defense is a really good way to control your car because you have to get up in the air and turn your car in multiple different ways to save the ball and push it out wide or to safety. So now we've covered free play, camera settings, control settings, video settings and custom training packs. To finish the video we're going to cover what car you should use. Now the car you'll see most pros rocking around with is the Octane. This is probably the most popular car in all of Rocket League and in my opinion it is the best car in the game. But there are multiple other cars that are viable for competitive play. And to be honest, until you hit the high high ranks, it doesn't matter what car you use. It's just per I'd say it's personal preference up until about champ. However, whilst it is still personal preference, there are still limited cars that are better than most. So say for example, the cars that high level players still use and the cars that are viable to compete with cars like the Octane are cars such as the Batmobile, the Dominus, the Breakout, even the Merc. The Merc isn't a bad car at all. It's not amazing, but it's also, it's good. But for example, cars like the Venom, the Scarab, the Takumi, Roadhog, these cars won't compete with cars like Octane at high levels or just in general. But majority of people watching this will probably be beginners. You can just choose whatever car you want to use and just have fun with it really. So yeah, that is the basics of Rocket League. We've covered camera settings, video settings, controller settings, free play packs, and what car you should use. This is just the first episode of many that I'm gonna upload in this series. This one is just starting off with the basics. The next one, we'll be moving on to slightly more advanced stuff. But I don't wanna move too fast, I wanna keep it nice and slow because Rocket League is a game where you have to grind to get better. So you do have to put lots of hours into this game to get good at it. That's why I don't want to make these episodes and just, you know, force and cram information into them. I want to space them out so you can watch specific ones to target the areas that you need to improve. So yeah, I will be uploading more on how to get better at Rocket League. I hope this video helped. If it did, let me know in the comments, leave a like, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.